সকলে হে সকলে সন্মান করিতে সকতি দেহনাথ যথা যথ সকলে সন্মান করিতে সকতে দেহনাথ যথা যথ আমি তবে তো গাহি বরি নাম সুখে তবে তো গাহিব হরি নাম সুখে অপরাধ হবে হপরাধ হবে কৃপা বিন্দু দিয়া কর দাসে না পেক্ষায়তি কৃপা বিন্দু দিয়া কর দাসে না পেক্ষায়তি হে দয়া হে
and they will have to feed India. Then we will not shave our heads. We will not shave our ears. And they took some balls in their hands. They hear. You should see. Or hear that. That will be bring independence for Hindu and Badi culture. So they are not any separate thing from oh, devotees of India. They are Sanatanist. They also know that Krishna and Ram is Supreme Lord. Guru Nanak used to tell all these things to his devotees everywhere. So, they said deeply fair. Arjun lost his two sons because they promised we cannot accept oh, Muslim religious. And they were given in wall. Was one was constructing. And the Mughals that put him in that wall. Wall became here. Oh, you will accept? Never. And here. Now you will have to accept. Never. They came to here. Oh, there is some time. Otherwise they will. But he still he never accepted and he was given in war. So how sacrifice they have done for India? To save oh, Sanatan Vedic Dharma. So we are also here in their guidance. And they should save us and give shelter. <laughs> so that we can preach Sanatan Dharma in the land of change. Guru Nanak, that Krishna and Ram is super. They are supreme personality of God. By chanting and remembering, supreme Lord, we can be happy. Otherwise, never. So this is the vision of Osanatan Vedi Dharma of Chait. See, Guru Nanak, Arjun Singh, is still. But some mad. Six, mad six. They think that we are separate from Sanatana Dharma. And we should fight for them. But so many intelligent and poets, she calls. Almost all. Only some think like that. They want Sikhistan or India. But your six. Always save Hinduism. So, so many things that they have given here shelter to reach our vision of Ram and Krishna, Gita, Bhagavata, and my blessings to them and my prayer to Krishna that Krishna should be merciful to them. They should be happy. Gold Brahman. आप लोग तो हिंदी भी पूरी अच्छी तरह से जानते हैं इसलिए उन सब लोगों को लाइन में कीर्तन करेंगे हम लोग भी सुनेंगे हम भी करेंगे 
विचारों का आदान प्रदान होगा और हम लोग भी जोर करते रहे Shri Gurudev has asked me to speak a couple of words about why he has come here. And I know for all of you, uh, anything I can say will simply be repeating the obvious, which is why you're all here. The reason that he's come here clearly is to continue the great tradition, the Sampradaya and the teachings of our Sampradaya, Bodhi of Vaishnavism, which is to reach out to the world and spread the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which is love and affection for all living entities, and to give all living entities, irregardless of qualification or disqualification, the chance to attain prema. Or pure love of God. This is <laughs> <laughs> Last night I was having a discussion with some of our Islamic friends uh, in the shop at the custard factory and I tried to make the point to them that Krishna explained the knowledge of Bhagavad Gita millions and millions of years ago eventually to Manu, the father of mankind and that the science of the relationship between the individual and the Supreme ultimately really has nothing to do with Christian, Hindu, Muslim or Jew because everyone is a spirit soul and has an eternal relationship with God and the basic principle is bhakti or love and devotion like this. But one thing they accept and all faith communities accept that with time and due to the nature of institutions, the, the, the essence of religion can be lost or it can become corrupt. Uh, and unless a person who has two feet firmly situated in the spiritual world, we have one person with two feet in the material world, perhaps looking in the right direction, often looking in the wrong direction, Maybe someone ha else has one foot in the material world and is taking some help and has one foot stepping into the spiritual world. But unless we have the guidance of someone whose both feet, lotus feet, are situated in the spiritual world and who can pull us up, it's very difficult to understand the true purport of the scriptures. And it may take many, many lives to get that association. So we feel very, very fortunate after many, many millions and millions of lives in useless existence in this material world, simply trying to survive and thrive and eat, sleep, mate and defend. And somehow or other, by some unimaginable agyata sukriti and good association, we come in the association of a pure devotee whose both lotus feet are firmly situated in the spiritual world at all times, and who kindly reaches down to us and pulls us up. So with all the humility that my command above and the lotus for your children and and all of the devotees in this assembly of Thank you. Thank you. Om Gyanati Nirandasya Gananjana Shalakaya Chakshu Nuritam Jantasna Shri Guru Namaha Vanchaka Patru Vizcha Kripa Sindhbe Vacha Patitanam Bhavamegyo Vaishnavegyo Namaha So I'll just speak very briefly that how fortunate we are that 
I cannot describe at least my good fortune of being able to be in association of somebody as kind and merciful as Shiloh Grude. We all feel um, how exalted he is, but being with Shiloh Grude since 96, from some moments, what has really stood out in my mind is how kind and how compassionate and how he overextends himself so much for us. And when I see it time and time again, I actually, I become bewildered, I become stunned. I, I, I cannot describe how amazed I am at his kindness and his compassion. So this, we can understand that this is a manifestation of the kindness and compassion of the Supreme Lord himself, of Lord Krishna, Srimati Radhika, and the combined form of Radha Krishna, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So our great fortune we cannot measure. And we see Gurudev traveling all over the world. I was just in Badger, LA, San Francisco. And just by his presence, the atmosphere of Vrindavan that he brings, and the joy and the lightness. As soon as Gurudev comes with his devotees, then it is just ananda, just pleasure and just bliss. And without this, actually, there's no real value to life. From time to time, I come in contact with people all the time who are not having such association, and I feel so sorry for them. And coming from that situation, then I come into Gurudev's entourage, and it's like coming from darkness to light. More than darkness to light. It's just so pleasant, so pleasurable. And devotees, people they see, that oh, those who are with Shri Maharaj, that there's something different, there's something different in this group. But what it is, it is only Srila Gurude. Uh, without Srila Gurude, then we're nothing. And everything, all the bliss, all the happiness, all the um, special moods that are there, that they're only due to the mercy of Srila Gurude and uh, Guru Parampara. I was saying the other day that somehow, just as one devotee, Matila Dishpagu, he was saying in um, Bajra, we were discussing, and he was saying how Srila Gurudev is the embodiment of all the Guru Parampara. That all the personalities in the Guru Parampara, that they're there within the body of Srila Gurudev. So, what can I say to glorify somebody as exalted and so merciful and kind as Srila Gurudev? So, we're very, very fortunate to be here, and I pray that we somehow or other always be with Gurudev, if not physically, but at least by heart and get closer and closer and closer so that we can be specks of dust in the lotus feet of Shri Gurudev.
are touched by humble obeisance says in the lotus feet of my paramaratnatam guru de om vishnu pal sisna bhakti pragyan kesavashram and my shiksha guru om vishnu pal sisna bhakti vedan swamina all the children of bhagwan vaishnav vaishnavi gan hmm. my dear mother sister and all and they thought they have come to remind you that you are part and parcel of supreme law we are forgotten his most powerful He can create in a second, in a moment, millions and millions of universes. And in the same time, in a second, he can demolish all, and again millions of universes. He can create very beautiful, handsome, sweet, and very merciful. is very very for us very <coughs> that is why he is sometimes descends from koro bindavan with his all associates and sometimes he sends his very powerful associate to remind us that you are all part and parcel of that supreme law and eternal service without his mercy you cannot realize your transcendental form never and you cannot be happy there is no way to be happy this world is what all the misery is and very nashwara very soon we will be old <coughs> and too old at then we will have to give up this body what we are collecting from this world money position and everything you cannot take even a single hair you are not this body physical body don't quarrel for this don't worry for this body this is a bag of urine to blood and so many things so is there at all and he has been captured by maya in this body we should all be realized very soon whether you want or not you will have to give up this body only the bad actions and good actions that you have done or it will go with you and again you will have to come in rotation but when you will surrender yourself in the lord's feet of it very qualified on a side guru sad guru and if he will obey him and obey his instructions then very soon you will realize oh we are been dream what we are see look in sir we are we are we are where in jail and now they will see in a moment for they are in guru kunda they know what time they no endless pain of what time they there no old day nothing there huh? only 
So I think of Supreme Lord and always sinking in the ocean of endless and deepless ocean of love and affection. So, our Rishis and Maharshis, they realized this fact millions of years before this time. And firstly, and Krishna and Ram, they came to this world. And so, Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, Ramayana, Vedas and Puran, all that <coughs> we are eternal servant of Krishna. He is a bed, he is embodiment of love and affection. Krishna special. So, <coughs> you can realize by all these things by reading Srimad Bhagavatam. Vyas, he wrote, he divided Veda. He manifested so many Purans, Mahabharata, Gita, so many Upanishads he discovered and manifested, but he was still not happy, not happy. Once Narada is good, or why you are looking well? You know everything and you have written, but still you are unhappy. He told that, my Guru Dev, I don't know. Please tell me why I am what. A disciple should surrender in the Lord's feet of God in such a way. Vyasi Narayan even. Yes, oh gosh, this idea. And then Nara told him that you have given preference of dharma, artha, kam, moksha and all these things. But we have not written the three pastimes of Krishna. That a Krishna can come to the Supreme Lord in the form of a very beautiful son. He goes door to door in the houses of all the gopis to still bear bread, butter, not butter, heart. We cannot be worried for him because we don't realize, but he realized they are all my children. They are my part and portion. So he descends, we cannot go to him. Understand? We cannot go there. But he descends himself. We cannot call us earnestly. But he calls by, so, come on, come on, all, dance with me, sing with me, and be happy. This is rush. Have you written all these things in what you have written? Mahabharata, Gita, or Quran? No, I don't know all these things. How he serves his father, Nand Baba and Tisruva. How he is controlled, even being the Supreme Lord, he forgets that I am Supreme Lord. And her, his mother, what are doing? Chastising. I will let, let you come in my lap. I will let give you breast. Then what you will do? Be there far away from me. To whom he is doing? To Supreme Lord is. You know Shakhas? Subal Siddha. Oh, they, they defeat Supreme Lord. And then that you should be my horse. 
and then become Krishna becomes harsh like and they write down there. He's so and you have gone, gone, run away, run away. And sometimes if their fathers have given any very sweetest thing for familiar preparation, or they took from their mouth and gave in the mouth of Krishna. How wonderful. So, have you written all these things? Have you written that Krishna is telling that all oh, gopis, I cannot do it. In thousands and thousands and millions of years, I cannot. Please be merciful to me. O Supreme Lord, He is telling that I cannot repay your what your love and affection, that you left everything, your position, your dharma, sanatana dharma, chastity, hmm? or oh, the fear from their superiors. Yeah. For Krishna. Krishna cannot, he cannot give even one shahat bhakti even. He cannot give up his father, mother. He cannot give his queens of Dwarka. He cannot give up Arjun, him, Nakul. Even those who are chanting his names and taken his shelter, he cannot give up. But gopis, what we get up. We have all the but everything for Krishna. So Krishna can. So oh, I can have you read? No. And what you have read? And nothing. And that is why you are not happy. Then how can I write all these things? Oh, being trans. And by my mercy, in your trance, in meditation, you will see. Be surrendered there and take help of Bhakti Yoga. Bhakti Yoga means surrender. And thus he surrendered himself. And he saw in trance, from birth of Krishna up to all the three pastimes of Dwarka India. Especially, the three pastimes of in Gokul, Vrindavan and Prachya. And this is called Samadhi Bhata, Srimad Bhata, Srimad Bhata. We, by this thing, Srimad Bhata, we can know that Krishna is not our goal, achieve Krishna. But Krishna praying is our goal. But also you should know who is the reserver of that praying. Who? Oh. Gopis. Among Gopis, Chandravi and Vrat. Among them too, they are reserver of that argument. So our aim and object to attain that love and affection of Krishna. So prem is prayoja. Prayoja means ultimate, ultimate. ultimate of our bhajan or life, goal of life. This love, <coughs> and if you can attain <coughs> even a glance of that love and affection, even a many part, then you can what do? You can make make it endless ocean of love and affection and whole universe will be down there. And you will be happy, Krishna will be happy, and thus your life will be happy. There is no way. So <coughs> everywhere I am speaking of this from the Sri Chaitanya Chaitamrita Adi Lila three and fourth chapter. <coughs> and Srimad Bhagavatam from Vrihat Bhagavatamritam that our aim of our life and devotion is to attain love and affection in the guidance of Gopis. The root of Radhika we cannot attain. Anyone, even Krishna, he was greedy for that. But <coughs> we can 
had done something. That is, had been told in Anarpita Charin Chira. To serve Radhika in a Munjari boat. This is the highest goal of our devotion and in our bhakti practice. But how to attain? Then we'll have come to town. From Adho Sabda, Tata Sadhu Sadhu, Tata Bajantriya, Tato Anartha Nukhati, Tata Nishtha, Ruchi, Asakti, and then Bhav, then Dipralam Bhav, and then after that some go about it. Eight stages. This Bhakti Vinod Thakur has or this explained in Bhajan Rasya, in eight chapters, and these chapters are like this. Adho Sadha, morning of the all Bhajan. Morning, but it is called Nishanta Lila. Now Nishanta Bhajan begins from Sadha. Second, Sadhusan and anartha nivritti at a time. Without sadhusan, who has so many unwanted things on earth, it cannot go away. So we are weak, because we are full of all kinds of anartha. But it may go only by the process of taking shelter in the lost feet of sadhus. But sadhu, how? If a sadhu can deviate, then he is no guru. He never deviates, because he is such guru. He has realized so. He has realized Krishna. He, has realized, he knows all the ethics teachings as a very expert. He can remove all doubts. He has no doubt himself. Then, otherwise, those who are in doubt, what is soul, super soul, what is bhakti, how we can be happy, how can we serve? Oh, those who have no realization, even they have no ruchi, taste, then they cannot achieve. They are bound to fall down. So this guru cannot help you. Because they, these kinds of guru are dilemma. You see, and you are uh, expect, you have experience for these gurus. Really, if you want to attend that kind of love and affection in the guidance of gurus, you will have to take shelter in the Lord's feet of any such rashik and bhav guru. And begin from Shraddha. We are told everywhere, what is Shraddha? Shabrani can speak towards God. What is Shraddha? Gurudev has ordered me to speak a few words about Shraddha. It's stated in the Shastra, Shraddha Shabde Vishvashakahe Sudrada Nishchoy. That is, Shraddha is the firm faith that Krishna Bhakti Koila Sarva Karma Kritavai. If I simply engage in Krishna Bhakti, all other subsidiary activities are taken care of. My maintenance, my happiness, everything else is achieved. How does Shraddha come? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu states, Egupe Brahmanda Bhomite Komya Bhagyavanaji Guru Krishna Prashade Pai Bhakti Lata Beach. After many, many millions of births wandering in different universes, 
one who has performed many, many millions of births of sukriti, spiritual pious activity, of going to temples, serving sadhus, knowingly or unknowingly, observing holy days, reading or hearing spiritual shastras. After many, many births of this, one meets a bona fide self-realized guru and attains from him the seed of bhakti, the bhakti lata beach, that is shraddha, which is the root of all devotion, ultimately leading to praying. There are two kinds of shraddha, that is, lokik shraddha, or faith in mundane superiors, and transcendental shraddha, or faith in the words of guru, sadhu, and shastra. Lokik sh shraddha can also mean when one's faith in the words of Guru, Sadhu, and Shastra are komal, weak, and shaky. And when that faith becomes strong, it becomes paramartic shraddha. Paramartic shraddha, or transcendental shraddha, is of two kinds. The first kind is called Shastra, Artha, um, Avataranamayi shraddha. That is, when one's faith is inspired by the words of Shastra, that is, the instillment by Shastra that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. I am his eternal servant, his part and parcel, and having forgotten him, I'm suffering. So out of a sense of duty, I engage in faith in service to the Lord or out of fear. Shastra also says, if you don't engage in the service of Krishna, then you'll go to hell, and you'll be punished for your sinful activities. So in the beginning, there's also fear that arises from the words of Shastra. Awe and reverence, and some fear in the beginning. The second kind of Shraddha, transcendental Shraddha, is called Bhagavad, Lila Madhuri, Loba Mayi Shraddha. That is faith in the words of Guru Sada and Sadhu and Shastra, which come by the great mercy of having the association of pure devotees, Rasika devotees, as Srila Gurudev just said. That is those devotees who are tasting all mellow relationships with Krishna those who are experiencing transcendental sentiments, and those who are tattvagya, that is, who's realized all tattvas, maya tattva, jiva tattva, bhagavad tattva, praying tattva,